hi and welcome everyone to our lesson in uh, lighting design this lesson is about one of the factors which we are going to use in selection of our luminaires this is known as the color rendering index or CRI so what is the color rendering index this one is one of the factors which we need to understand when we select the luminaire as we know that the visible light is the light which we can see uh, or our human eye can see okay with its own different colors okay if the wavelength is lower or higher such as in the ultraviolet x-ray gamma infrared microwave radio all of this we cannot see however only a certain uh, wavelength or a certain uh, frequency uh, of the light which we can see now how do we see objects i know that many people will tell me now what are you talking about we already know how can we see objects okay but there is one thing which is important about seeing objects which will help you in understanding the color rendering index okay so for example we have our sun this sun produces a light or the day light when this daylight uh, falls on an object, the uh, light will uh, reflect from this object and then our eye will see the object. Okay, now remember that our light, our daylight consisting of all of the colors, okay, with its own wavelengths. Now, as an example, what exactly happens when the white light, which consisting of all of the different uh, colors, with its own different wavelengths the only color all colors will be absorbed by the object except the one color which is the object color okay so as an example if it falls on a leaf we only see the green color because the green color is the only one which is not absorbed by the object that's why it is reflected to our eye and see this object as green okay now as an example the black color the black color since when we see an object black it means none of the colors are reflected all of the colors are absorbed by an object okay now the red for example red object means that the red color is the only one or the uh, only wavelength which is reflected from an object the light object or the white object means that all of the colors are reflected okay so we understand now in order to see an object the actual uh, object this color should exist in the light source so as an example the light source which does not have the color of an object so we have here uh, two uh, objects which are green okay this object and this object are green in color okay so if a white color falls on them white color falls on them what will happen is that we will see uh, the green color of the object why because this the white uh, source have green color or has green color now if we have a green source falling on this object we will see this as green since the source have the same color as our object okay but let's see so in this two first two cases we see the object with its own real colors okay however the last one if we have a red color this red color uh, which is falling on an object does not have green that's why we will see it as another color not the actual color okay so in order to see the object with with its own real colors we have to have the source as the same color or the source or the white source having the uh, uh, color itself okay which as for example the white have or has green color now as you can see on the red light and white light we see the object with its own real colors because the white light contains all of the colors 
the red one does not show us the real color of an object okay now this will go uh, will lead us to the color rendering index so what does this mean by definition it is a quantitative measure of the ability of a light source so it is the ability of the light source okay to reveal the colors of a various objects faithfully in comparison with an ideal or natural light source so we have a light source this light source have a certain color rendering index this value is from zero to a hundred okay so the closer this source the strength of this source closer to the white uh, color or the white light source it will be its rendering index will be 100 okay so the higher uh, CRI it leads to higher quality of light okay so we'll see some examples showing the difference in uh, 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 in light sources with different uh, CRI okay so as an example if we have a light source lighting fixture or a luminaire with a 50 CRI the index is 50 and this one is a another source with 80 another source with greater than 95 so as you can see the object colors the colors of an object as we the color rendering index increase as this value increase we can see the object with all with its own real colors so comparing 50 cri and 95 cri as you can see we can see this object with its own real colors compared to a lower value of cri of 50. another example here we have an apple this apple is a uh, red color okay now if we have a light source cri or color rendering index of 97 here 90 here 80 here 70 as you can see as we lower the uh, color rendering index we will have a poor quality of light okay we cannot see the object uh, re in real okay it has a pure poor uh, quality of light compared to a higher value of color rendering index which means that we can see our objects with its own real colors now so the color rendering index is from 0 to 100 100 means it is uh, close to the white color okay from 80 to 100 considered as excellent from 60 to 7 acceptable and less than 60 is low quality of light here is another example natural white light gives us the real color of the object as you can see red apple since it has all of the frequencies or of the color um, uh, ranges with its own wavelengths we can see the uh, value with its own real color or the object with its own real color compared with a light source with a low CRI it does not have all of the wavelengths or a poor quality of light which would give us not a real color of the object here is another comparison if we have an object like this okay painting and another painting as you can see here there is a difference between them uh, using the sunlight which is a hundred uh, cri or hundred uh, color rendering index means we can see the object with its own original color however led, LED light uh, with a lower cri compared to the sunlight will give us a rendered color okay as you can see the uh, color of the painting it is not visible same as here why because this source have a low CRI here is another example as you can see here as we go to the right higher CRI which means we can see the color of the object uh, in real okay the real colors of the object okay however low CRI gives us poor quality of colors here is a comparison between different light sources or light fixtures or uh, luminaires 
As an example here, I have a high pressure sodium, fluorescent LED, and so on. Here is the uh, opposite value of the color rendering index. Another one, as you can see that the incandescent and halogen have a hundred color rendering index, the highest value of color rendering index close to the white color. And as you can see here, we have uh, uh, metal halide, fluorescent, uh, mercury, high pressure sodium, and so on. So as you can see, uh, each of these have a lower amount of color rendering index. Okay, as you can see, each of them with its own um, uh, opposite color rendering index. So as you can see, the lower low pressure sodium have the lowest value of the color rendering index, which means the worst uh, lighting source. Here is an example for the daylight, uh, incandescent lamp, fluorescent lamp, halogen, uh, cool white LED, warm white LED. Um, as you can see here, representing the intensity here, representing the uh, CRI or the color rendering index. So as you can see that daylight almost at most colors, it is have a high value. Okay. As you can see here, uh, incandescent have a high value for the red colors. Okay. And lower values for the other uh, ranges. So it means that the red color can be seen very well. However, the blue uh, objects will not be seen very well. The fluorescent, as you can see, at certain colors very well and at the others almost zero. Here the halogen provides a good amount of CRI in these colors. If the object have these colors, at the other colors here, very poor. Here, um, acceptable. Okay. Here, another the cool white and warm white and their own distribution. So this is the definition of the CRI. More rendering uh, value means that we will have high quality of uh, lighting and we will see the object well. Now, before you go, I would like to invite you to our academy, Khadija Academy. You will find our course for electrical design here in the description below or in the first comment of this video. You will learn about uh, AutoCAD, Dialex, um, how to design the lighting system, how to uh, design the electrical system, such as panel schedule, um, circuit breakers and cables, how to do the single line diagram, um, how to do the load estimation, selection of transformer, generator room, uh, voltage drop, earthing system design, generator sizing, um, UBS uh, lighting protection. Um, also, you will learn about light current systems such as fire alarm, MATV, telephone, data, CCTV, sound system, and also in addition to ETAP. So this course also is updated frequently with more and more content. Thank you and see you in our course.